Today we have with us Within the Vacuum on Minds. How are you doing Within the Vacuum? Hey, everything amazing. Having a good time. Awesome, man. So uh, I hear you do music, right? Yes. Awesome. What kind of music do you do, man? Oh, well, I, I'm, I've been <laughs> in music since nine years old. You know, I started in, in the church with my dad and all of that. I have a couple of punk rock bands. <laughs> Then, you know, like, I, I made another band, Papini Los Perobots, and uh, my latest project was a Light of Day with Robert Dean. And now I'm about to release a new, a new material. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. Is it a whole album, or is it just a couple songs, or? No, it is an EP. Okay, four, okay. Four tracks. Right, right, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And when's that come out? I really don't know yet. Oh, yeah, you're one of those. I'm one of those, too, where I just kind of do stuff and then release it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll see, like, dead spots for me, and then all of a sudden I'll release, like, 30 things and just be active nonstop, mm -hmm. and then you won't see me again. I, lo I love it, man. I love that kind of stuff. How many albums do you have out now? Uh, four albums with a simple which was one of my oldest bands and one with my brother's band which <laughs> I was 11 years old I was playing drums by that time another a couple of singles with a simple also and an album with Papin and los Perobots uh, is about seven seven I think seven albums nice and that's five. not bad yeah, yeah. definitely and um you have any other places you promote your music other than mine the regular you know like channels Spotify and all of that but you know like not right now I, I don't I really don't know you know like we we're in web3 there's a lot of, of options so oh, yeah, I, I'm, like yeah, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to, to define what, what should I do with that? You know, I really don't know what to. Do. But there's audios now, and there's a catalog, and uh, another interesting platforms for promoting music in Web3 right now. There's tons of Web3 out there. I know. Uh, and uh, also Minds, of course. Yeah, 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 and um, you know, I think Eclipse uses uh, Rocky uh, for his music. I, I think that's what it's called. So uh, you might want to check there out. They do what they have tokens and stuff too that you can promote. And then right now we're uh, we're using a lot of Joystream where you can. Um, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's really nice. That's Rocky really cool. and Paul. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah, Joystream is really nice. You can uh, upload your like music videos, and then um, you can auction them off for you know uh, Joystream tokens. So uh, mm -hmm. I think I think it hits mainnet soon. At least at least this coming uh, like after October, I think. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, you might correct me, but yeah, I think it opens uh, like full blockchain after October. So like that might be something you definitely want to check out. Uh, like this will be going on Joystream. So like, you know, if you want to watch it, you're gonna have to head over there anyways. For sure. No, I, I have. I already have a ca- an account on on Joystream and share. Oh, nice. A, yeah. yeah, share a, a video uh, for a single uh, from from another band. I have. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. What's uh, your uh, what's your channel on Joystream within the vacuum? Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll check it out. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man yeah yeah then, you uh, it's supposed to have creator tokens right like um, how do you know how that yeah yeah the creator the creator tokens are coming up um uh they they said that uh the beginning of next year is when they're supposed to like start launching them to everybody and get off like the testing and stuff for the tokens uh then then you'll be able to sell your your content for your own token like like uh we have but yeah speaking of tokens do you have a token no i don't have it well i i try to to get ones <laughs> that i couldn't i don't know what happened like, okay you know, okay mind game yeah well do you have your own token like uh, every, everybody here in this room except for you uh clips has their own tokens tori has his own token like, i was just yeah. wondering if you have a token I want my token. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. Up with a what, yeah, what yeah. should I do? <laughs> should um, we'll, we'll get you set up with a token. And uh, what we do with our tokens is we use them for our projects and stuff. So like uh, in the hub here, I have everybody that's in our ecosystems tokens that we give out for like hanging out in the hubs. And, uh, doing activities or playing games or whatever and then like Eclipse has his own token that he gives out for uh, like, uploading music in one of our music groups and then uh, you know contributing to projects so like uh, we can definitely set you up with a you know get you started on Mimi with your own token and get you started with uh, promoting your music there so you can have uh, you know your own token to trade for content and then like if you contribute content to us to our like if you cooperate with like satori or clips or me with your music and we use it for something we will usually either buy your token or give you tokens that, from us that we have so you can you know to support you back you know what i mean it's a good way to just uh cooperate and build together with, you know everybody That's has awesome. their own thing yeah yeah so we'll have to get you set up with that definitely, man, and uh, get you get you rolling on Mimi, get your token set up so you can promote on there, and then hopefully once uh you know once Joystream has their creator tokens, we'll bridge our tokens over to Joystream, so we'll, we'll have our own tokens everywhere, man. It would be great, and, and they're just you know they're fun, just cooperative building tools. It's not like you're not going to make millions of dollars on your token or anything. You know, it's a good way to build your brand and kind of have your own thing and have a way to give back to people that contribute or you work with. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a fun mm-hmm. um, thing to do. But yeah, we'll definitely get you set up. But uh, yeah, you have any other projects? You said you got uh, an album coming out. Um, yeah, you know, well, EP. that that album, that, the idea I have is to create a, a an artistic installation for it you know like the first track i i, I satori already already listened to it so it, it's a journey my idea of, of the the idea the dream i have is to create a an, an artistic installation where people can come and see it, you know like maybe a vr headset and get into the the, the journey with the music yeah. I'm thinking about to create like four, like one for each track, but there's two like normal regular songs in the mm-hmm. album, one in English and one in Spanish. One is more focused for Latin America and the other for English spoken. And yeah, that's the idea. And uh, obviously to make some live geeks and and all that but another yeah 
You know what? You, like, because I was playing around with hubs. Hubs is, is this tool that we're using to create these VR rooms. And I was just messing around with it, and I put one of my uh, crazy mandalas in it. And it, like, it came out as, like, a really cool spear, and, like, you could go in it. And you could, like, kind of, like, play <laughs> exactly. around with it. And I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. this, this is cool. Yeah, something so, like, like that. Anyways, yeah. you can practically set up, like, a room in hubs corresponding to the each songs right and then you we could hook yeah. you up in that sense that like if you go through minds gaming's like website that if can we like mine his token like if you're in his, yeah. In yeah. his room right yeah absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So that's like a practical yeah. way to use like your token you know what i mean like for people engaging yeah. with your room um they get yeah, a little yeah. bit of token you know so yeah like like create an immersive uh experience Another thing is that I want to to design a cover for the album. I want it to be uh, a 10 inch vinyl album. So there's some uh, there's a company in Amsterdam who make one album. You know, like if you order one vinyl, they make one for you. And the idea is that to use the algorithm, I uh, like Streamer D and we are building uh, for the consilience library and all that, that apply it to the cover of the album. So each cover will be different and with an element in it that belongs to the person to who's buying the album. So that's another idea. For, nice, for, nice. For the yeah. Release. yeah, I, I want to like that. Like, yeah, so, yeah, so you know, it's like your personal cover album and that, that yeah would, yeah, yeah that definitely really good like, yeah every every album has a different piece of art on it or you know it has like yeah, that's like, that's what i try to do with uh my cards you know every every card is of course different has different designs and has a different like worth in our ecosystem so like having different album covers is kind of like the same thing you're creating kind of a collection of you know art at the same time that you're listening to music that's a good idea i like yeah. that a lot and, and you know like practically <laughs> to um moment which which i think now you could you could like uh, bridge your your nft right uh, yeah 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 mm -hmm. but they they yeah. use um gnostic uh chain right and that's the same one that tech uses so it's like practically too i you know i'm just thinking about like ecosystems like like using tech tokens to buy like nfts in that sense um but meaning uh, are you talking tech like from the old tech from mines uh the, the tech uh the, the token uh engineering the commons uh down uh anyway okay um but what what also too is cool is what mines gaming is talking about and what he's been playing around with is bridging so like you know whenever you start your your nfts like we could have like part of it with the bridging was like it doesn't matter where you start off like you could use it like other places um, yeah yeah so, so like if you start on uh Mint me or moment you can bridge it with ethereum and polka dot you know if you start on ethereum you, you can bridge it the other way and well ethereum now ethereum has the two chains so you, yeah. you can bridge it off both the chains now, which is so. good if you're selling like you know what we were talking about earlier was like your your unique album cover corresponding to like your unique nft and you know and that, yeah, exactly and that that person like, so, carries that around and then like it'll be you know acceptable in, in every like uh, project you do i guess in a sense yeah 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 definitely that's i like that a lot um i think it's a good idea i want an album now so i'm sure <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> for sure we have little games on here and everything you can do for tokens and earn rewards do you have a token well we'll, we'll ask that during our interview <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys ready to start yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. I'm ready. Awesome. I, I, I took I took some LSD earlier. No, no, it's just like a, a third part of a of a of a little paper. 
Well, yeah. You know, the last time I took uh, LSD, so my, my friend hits me up. He's like, oh, you want to do some <laughs> LSD? And I'm like, yeah, I do, but I got like work the next day. And he's like, dude. You're not gonna be hungover. I'm like, I know I died. Like, I know I'm hungover, but like, I'm gonna like be like, like all the way out there in outer like inner space, and then like I'm gonna have to like cut like bell peppers. I'm gonna like walk out of the job. I'll be like, what? This is not worth it. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that's true. And then, so anyway, like, I go to his apartment, and and then uh, we take the LSD. It was old LSD, and like. It didn't really hit us. <laughs> it was just, it was like, are you feeling it? You, I think I've kind of feeling it. I think I've kind of feeling it. It was, it was like when you take the edible, but you're like, is it is it hitting me? Is it hitting me now? Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. The whole yeah. time is like that. I guess so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm the same. You know, like like I don't I don't feel anything honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that's normal on me, you know, like the first yeah. time I did some LSD, it was like, oh, okay, this is me, but like, uh, like, like bigger, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like my normal, normal, normal state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was losing my mind